Hi guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Been wanting to do it for years and um, you know, this quarantine has got me inspired to do it. So, quick introduction, my name is Raina. For those of you that don't know me, I guess the first few people watching this, you probably do know me because you might have clicked on the link from social media. Well, I just wanted to put this video, I've been wanting to record it like for the past week. Um, where do I start? I didn't map this out at all. I'm just kind of like free flowing. Um, I hope everybody's doing okay with the quarantine. Um, me personally, I spend a lot of time at home already. I work from home most of the time. So I'm here a lot and I enjoy being home a lot. So this has been a treat for me. Um, I also substitute teach at the local high school, like right down the school, right down the street, middle school and high school. And that's closed right now. So I haven't been doing, haven't had work there, obviously. So I've been getting a lot of stuff done around the house, which is really, really nice. My nails are jacked up from gardening. But whatever. Yesterday, I, I started demoing my closet in my bedroom. Getting shit done, you know, feels good. Um, but this video I wanted to put out, and it's just, the other day, a few weeks ago, I asked a group of people, it was about maybe 30 people, if anybody knew what the law of attraction was. One person said yes. So that means there was about 29 people that had no idea what the law of attraction meant. Simply put, the law of attraction means you get what you put out. So if you put out good vibes, you're going to receive good in return. If you put out bad, you're going to get bad in return. If you're... Sorry, there's a big truck coming down the street, not sure what they're doing. Um, you, vi you wanna vibrate on a high frequency so you receive things that are also vibrating on that frequency. I'm not gonna go into depth on what the law of attraction is. You could watch other YouTube videos to, that will deeper explain it. Maybe one day I will deeper explain it, but I just wanted to put this out in relation to the virus. The more people focus on or are vibrating, the more people focus on the virus, the more it's gonna grow. The law of attraction is like the law of gravity. It's real. It's like, it has been scientifically proven, I believe, I think. Um, but it's like the law of gravity. So, the more you focus on, um, I'm getting distracted, I'm sorry, and I really don't want to go through and edit this video, I just want to post it as is. So focus, Raina. The law of attraction is real. The more you focus on the virus, the more the virus is going to grow. The more you watch videos of in the hospital and read stories, the more it's implanted in your head, the more you're gonna fear it. If you're vibrating on a level of fear, which fear is a low vibrating frequency, the more you vibrate in fear, the more you're going to attract fearful things. I made the mistake a few days ago of watching videos for the first time. I don't watch the news, I don't have cable, I. I uh, I don't I read what people say on on Facebook like I know there's like a shortage in toilet paper and hand sanitizer and all that but I haven't got too in depth of the actual virus. Well, the other day I watched videos of inside hospitals and videos of people speaking who actually had the virus or are recovering from the virus and I cannot unsee those things. It implanted in my brain and it is there forever. And in that moment, it 
did strike fear in me. And I'm like, fuck, like, it's scary. And i am tried my best since then to just kind of push out of my brain and just stay positive. Um, but yeah, so this message is just be careful what you intake. Yes, it's good to be aware and know what's going on. Is it necessary to like know all the gory, ugly details of the virus? I don't think so. It's not necessary for me. I don't want to call it into my reality. If you want to call it into your reality, that's on you. But I personally wouldn't mind this quarantine lasting a few more weeks. So if you guys want to keep, keep it going, whatever. But if you want it to be done sooner, quit focusing on the virus and quit vibrating in fear. Stay positive. There is a lot of positive things happening and I'm very happy to see that. All the people helping out and all the people getting shit done. But yeah, so that's just a quick little lesson on the law of attraction in regards to the virus, okay? Don't vibrate in a level of fear. Vibrate on a level of positivity. See the good that this is bringing. Um, somebody pointed out that um, and I've seen memes too, where it's like normally people are like all in their cell phones like this. Well, now people are like walking down the street and saying hi to each other. And just that to me is a huge positive thing coming out of this. And I truly believe that everything happens for a reason. And this too happens for a reason, is happening for a reason. Everything is in divine order. God, the source, spirit, the universe, whatever you want to call it, makes no mistakes. It's all perfect. We just have to figure out the lessons to be learned from this. It would be great if we could slow down to this pace at least one day a week. Imagine that. The freeways clear, the birds chirping, people in the streets making music, making art, whatever it is, just slow down. Enjoy life. Just one day a week. For me personally, I think I want to do this once a year where I just pause for maybe two weeks two weeks, just stay in the house, get shit done around the house, pause. Pause on the outside life and only focus on within my home and myself. There's my neighbor and the dog that Debbie likes to fight with. Um, other than that, I hope you guys are staying healthy, staying active, turn off the TV, don't get trapped in front of that thing, that boob tube. Um, <clears throat> what's, what's some tips for... So I have read that the virus starts in the throat. It will live in the throat before it makes its way to the lungs. So I have a non-fail remedy for a sore throat and which will also work for the virus. Gargle, warm baking soda water. I fill up a cup maybe like a 12 ounce cup gargle it and then throughout the gargling I bite on lemon wedges and swallow it that will kill the virus hope you guys took away something from this and uh happy quarantining thanks for watching